Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Yvette Nelson and it's a little bit about flash fill by using an on-camera flash, something you can get uh, to use, battery operated on location instead of having fancy equipment. It's sort of inexpensive, you can get it uh, off of eBay or you can buy them brand new, you know, however you want to do it. But anyway, so the story today is about using flash fill on this fabulous photograph I did of Yvette Nelson out in the California desert. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hi guys and welcome back. And the story is how did I get this flash fill photograph of Yvette on location in the desert in California? Now, first off, I'd like to just say thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate uh, you uh, signing up and wanting to listen to some of my tips and tricks and stories behind the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about flash fill using battery operated. Now one of the things about using battery operated is obviously you don't have to carry a lot of gear around with you. Uh, it's portable, you can put it in your bag, you can buy these things on eBay like I said uh, for a fairly inexpensive price or you can get them brand new, it's really up to you. But the thing that I like about it is, is that it's portable uh, and takes up less space in your bag so if you have to just do a run and gun thing it works out really great. But the problem with having on-camera flash is that sometimes the flash pops out so intensely that it's almost like deer in headlights. There's nothing worse than taking a photograph and getting it to look like the model is a deer in headlights. So there's a way of making the flash a little bit more softer and a little bit more pleasing. Now, wedding photographers do this and they do a wonderful job. Sometimes they use soft boxes and they use this. Now, this is a great uh, little attachment, a little diffuser. It goes on to the flash like this. You see, you just put it in like that. And now what happens is the light, when it's triggered off, bounces around inside of here. So you get a little bit of fill light coming out and then it comes out through here. It's nice and soft. Now, if you do want it a little bit harder, you can actually take this off and it becomes a little bit more direct. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to spend the money on having equipment. And of course, sometimes girlfriends and wives say, hey, you know, you're spending a lot of money on equipment and you're not a professional. You're an amateur. Now, I will tell you that the word amateur, by the way, means somebody that loves what they're doing. So if you are an amateur, and you love what you're doing, that's okay. But I've been a professional for 30 years now and you know, obviously I've been making uh, money doing what I love and uh, I've come across lots of different things that I, that I need on my photo shoots. And when I first started out, obviously I couldn't afford stuff like this, just like anyone else couldn't afford stuff like this. Uh, you know, camera equipment and lighting equipment is always very expensive. So I have a little tip. And my tip is that next time you go and pick up your soup at the Chinese restaurant, you can get it in a container like this. Now, lo and behold, the container, if you cut a hole in it, does the very same thing. You can actually put the flash inside and you've got exactly the same thing as buying the expensive one. And if you want to make it a little softer, you could always paint this a little white over here to make it softer too. But it does the same thing. It bounces the light around so you get a nice little fill and it comes out and boom, there you go. Nice soft fill light as you can see in these photos. Uh, it looks fabulous. Now, the other picture I've got here is a little photoshopped and a little tweaked to make it look a little bit more over the top. But that's just what I wanted to do with the photograph. But the other one here you can see is just filled enough with soft light to just brighten up uh, for shadow detail. So again, this is a very, very easy, inexpensive thing to do because you're gonna get your soup in this stuff anyway when you go to the Chinese restaurant. And um, like I said, you just put it on there and there you have it. Now the other one you can go get if you wanna go spend the money. Um, it works great, uh, I recommend it. And uh, I think they're a great uh, addition to your equipment when you're out there doing a run and gun shoot and want to use the on-camera flash. So there you have it. That's the story behind how I got this photograph and a little bit of flash fill. Now remember when you are flash filling you just need shadow detail and you just need to pop the picture a little bit. Don't overexpose it otherwise it will give you the appearance of deer in headlights and that's not really what you want to go after. Now if you like that story you might want to pop over to my website andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there to help you and maybe inspire you to do your next photo shoot. You can also follow me on Instagram 
check out what I'm doing and all the fun stuff that goes on in my life. Um, I, of course, I don't put every single thing up there. I just put things that I think uh, you might be interested in. And I also put up photographs that are inspirational. Hopefully, they inspire you to go out there, as I said, and create something of your own. Now, if you do go to my website, you can download a PDF of a book I put together called Tips and Tricks with Arena Vornina on the cover. She's a Playboy Playmate. In fact, she was the first Russian Playboy Playmate here in the United States. So that's kind of a little interesting tidbit there. So follow me on Instagram, check out my blog. All I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Oh, just one thing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm always looking for subscribers. Don't forget to make a comment. Let me know what you think. And all I can say again is bye for now. Thank you.